Sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are. Yo, welcome back to Sports Life and Hip Hop. Once again, it's been a minute. Um, as usual, you got the usual crew. You got my man Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Shway. And I'm Channel 7. Uh, shout out to everybody on. Um, the, the the audio platforms, uh, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all the above. And uh, by the way, fuck Texas is still available. YouTube has some affinity with Texas. They kicked it. They they eliminated the uh, the show, but still available on Spotify and all the audio podcasts, uh, uh, audio platforms. Other than that, it's been a minute, man. Um, what's been up with it? The summertime. Summer, summer, summer time. <laughs> summertime. Mm, summertime. Shit, feeling good, man. Um, shit, shit really almost was... over. Damn near. Cool out, man. <laughs> yeah, let's not start with that. It's summer. July. It is, it's July man. 1st. Relax, man. Don't hit me with the summer's almost over, man. Hey, man. Calm down, man. So, summer's dude, coming dude, it, now, man. Yeah, man. I can see if it was August 1st or September 1st. Dude, it's... July 1st. We in the thick of it. Okay. Man, always rushing <laughs> shit, man. I'm, I'm just telling you what it Niggas is. Niggas always want to rush it. It's almost the end of summertime. Like, it yo. Is. It's not. When you a kid, summer is slow. When you in the dark. Right. I feel like summer's forever. <laughs> man, it's not over, man. Okay. I know it feel good to uh, drop the mask. Like, <clears throat> you dropped your mask? I just went to Disney World, man. I'm fucking <laughs> shoulder to shoulder with my, with my. They didn't require you to wear a mask. No, nope. only time you had to wear it's Florida, but the only time you had oh. to wear a mask was um, like if you went into little shops, you mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying? on the rides, all that, no mask. Oh, but wow. when you went in the shops, you had to put a mask, like anything that was like kind of closed in. Right. But other than that, man, millions of people just. Damn, I thought that would be like a requirement to get in. Nah, nope. Damn. I mean, they had the, the 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 status quo sign saying, you know, if you haven't been vaccinated, we advise you to. But, but they ain't nobody walking up to you yeah. like, hey, where's your mask? No, uh uh-uh. uh. You ain't got your, your card saying I've been vaccinated. Uh-uh. <laughs> what's y'all, uh. What's y'all take on mask etiquette? You know what I'm saying? What's like, now, now we're at a time, like, when you go to the store and you're like, eh, eh, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Joe. <laughs> You know, I'm like, do I do I wear one? Do I not wear one? Is it cool? Do I, you know, what I'm saying, do I have it off? Like, if I wear one, does it make it look like I'm not vaccinated? Like, where where are we in regards? I, I to think that? I think I'm at the point now. Say I pull up to the store and I don't have a mask, and I ain't go, damn, I gotta go back home. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going. going. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. When it first started, I was right. like, damn, I ain't oh. no fucking man, I gotta right. look in the trunk and get a t-shirt or something. <laughs> <laughs> you get a t-shirt. <laughs> Now, now we all we all got masks around, but if mm-hmm. I was to forget, I I went to Costco with no masks. Nothing happened. I'm getting more and more loo- like before I yeah. would I would have it in my pocket, but I wouldn't have right. it. You know what I'm saying? If it, it's almost like I put a mask on, like like you know what I'm saying, to make someone who does have a mask on not feel yeah. comfortable. <laughs> not feel uncomfortable. No, not feel uncomfortable. Because oh, I know everybody's looking at them like this nigga's still wearing his mask. Right. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like I see the so mm. no, no. Go ahead, my bad, my bad. No, I was just saying like I can see the um, they almost like they they embarrassed a little bit because they still <laughs> wear their mask. I'm like it's okay. I was there. Like you know what I'm saying? Here, I got mine too. Are you happy? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But. I really don't give a damn about the mask anymore, man. So, so you're all about someone else feeling comfortable, even though you don't. You're not comfortable wearing the mask. No, I'm comfortable. Wearing I mean, you're it, wearing but either or, wear but like you'll go out of your way to make someone else feel comfortable. I make them feel, yeah. You know, what I'm right. saying? that's so. I might wear it to make them feel comfortable, like. Wow. <laughs> but I don't. But in general, no. I I've dropped the mask. CDC. I follow CDC. They said you don't have to wear this shit. 
If I yeah. if I follow them when I, when I made me uncomfortable following them, I'm not about to not follow them <laughs> when they're telling me be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's ass backwards. Like I mean, but y'all do realize it's a, a mask etiquette now. Now it's like a gray area. It's like yeah. Man, do I wear a mask? Do I not wear a mask? Should I wear a mask? You know, like do I wear a mask in a restaurant? Like, it's your comfort now. Before it was, <laughs> it, before no, before it was you had to wear. Now it's about your comfort. And this is and this, this is where we're in your in your <laughs> right, right, right. This is this, all you now, huh? When I'm around a bunch of niggas, you know what I'm saying. When you're in the studio, you're masking up. I'm masking up. Man. If I'm at the I'm at the lake or something. There's a bunch of niggas. Yeah, <laughs> put this mask on. Just, but uh, yeah, I think it's about but your you're, comfort. You're at now. your local grocery store. You're not masking up. His space is not a bunch of people. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, you know what I'm saying. Okay. okay. Are and you all good? It, so, are there any? So, and you're all about if you see someone out with a mask on, majority are not wearing masks. You're all about wearing a mask to make that one person feel comfortable. I mean, that's every once in a while. I'll go out of my way to not look at them because I don't want them to feel. <laughs> 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 They're like an interracial couple. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> what? what? I try not to look at interracial couples, even though it is different. You don't see it every day. You still but feel that way? I don't want yeah, them twenty twenty-one. You still feel that way? No, I love interracial couples. No, man. I didn't say you didn't. You still look at them like they're they're eyeballs. <laughs> I mean, if I, if you see a, if you see a pink dog walking down the street, you're gonna look at it. It's not something you see every day. So interracial couple is a pink dog nowadays. I don't see them every day. Not in Illinois, one of the most segregated states in the in the in the, in the country. Yeah, I see them a lot. But I don't. Yeah, where well, you at? But I'm saying, but where I'm at, I don't. You know, what I'm saying in the city and, and stuff, I don't see a lot of interracial couples. So I'll look away because I don't want them to think I'm looking at them. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not judging them. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? So I that's what you apply to the mask, like, right? The mask. You know what I'm saying? Like I see you with the mask on. I'm not judging, but here I'm gonna put a mask on to make you feel comfortable. Right. Now, every once in a while, I, you know what I'm saying? If I gotta be around them, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, look. I just I just asked a question. I, res- I respect your mask. Your your, your maskness. I just asked what what the mass <laughs> etiquette is. I, I figured I'd come to you. I wouldn't come to Zeke about this. I come to you about this. This is your this what's, is your your ballpark. What's right? your personal? What's yours? Like you uh, say, you fuck that shit. Fuck that. Like, yo, if I see you with a mask, I don't give a fuck. Like you got a mask on. Like, right, but right, if right. I if I go in and I don't have to wear a mask, I'm not wearing a mask. And I'm not telling y'all if I got vaccinated or not. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. It's none of your business. The point is, I'm not out here spreading. Shit, you right. know what I'm saying? End of the day. You know, yeah, a lot of places and drop the whole you gotta wear a mask thing too. I see they, they got the daycare back open at Export. <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> now you, you <laughs> know they don't give a shit. Wear a mask in there? I'm not sure. Not I just Expo, saw you on the know website. at the gym you don't have to wear a mask. The gym, no. Nah. Oh, you don't have to wear it at all? Nope. But the daycare I'm not sure about <laughs> that. You ain't gotta wear it no more, you just come out with what what? You feel a couple, way about that? A couple that? months ago, you had to wear it. You ain't oh, got to yeah. wear it no more. Nah, uh, you ain't got to wear it. Well, a lot of people wasn't following that anyway. Though, nah, so. you ain't yeah. got to wear it no and more. And they, they wasn't really enforcing it like that, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, COVID over, man. Not I, told worried about, <laughs> I told you. I told you. You're not worried about the uh, the Delta variant? No. I am a slight, a smidge worried about it mutating into a Southwest variant. <laughs> 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 Or a possible <laughs> spirit variant. <laughs> nah, bad joke. Bad uh, what up? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what segue up? into that. Why don't you? <laughs> new album. New album. <laughs> new shit. Let's get that flash shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Gotta get the incense burning. You know what I'm saying? What we did say the same thing about COVID. Nah, I ain't worried about that. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but out of true. out of out of this ten, very true. out of ten, out of ten major things, this is the one where we was wrong on. Most yeah, of the time that's we true. Was, most of the time, right? It's a false alarm. It was a biggie, mm-hmm. though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 it was. It was a biggie. No, it was. I think it's just going. It's just. You know, it's going to be here, man. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be the. You know, it's another variant. Okay. But really, it's been here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's been the thing here, about yeah. it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's been. You know, yeah. Hey, before we go any further, man, I I, I have to uh, make a public apology to the one and only Zeke. <laughs> You've been the butt of many jokes. 
for your affinity for Freddie Gibbs. <laughs> I mean, and this is going back to our uh, YouTube uh, viewers. <laughs> Before YouTube, the original start of Sports Life and Hip Hop, the real yeah. Sports Life and Hip Hop. <laughs> Remember we started off with your top five? That's where it kicked off. Yeah. Freddie Gibbs is on a tear. That big boss bunny, he's jumped up a tier in my in, in my rankings, dog. Like mm -hmm. he was never a first tier MC to me, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's definitely jumped up a tier, a tier, man. Him and I got it. And once again, I gotta give you a pop. J Cole, God, damn, this last album was unreal, man. What? Shit! <laughs> this last album was crazy, bro. Like the lyric, everything that I, that 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 bug bugged me about J Cole, he debunked it and did with this one album. Like you know what I'm saying? Like every, I'm, I'm on my edge of my seat with every bar. Like before, it was like, yeah, <laughs> metaphor, metaphor. Little harmony, nah, he went crazy on this yeah. shit. And you've been, you've been yeah. championing him. You've been championing and campaigning him, him and Freddie for a minute. So I would like to offer my hip hop apology. This is a hip apology, <laughs> a hip hop apology. <laughs> I fucks with Freddie Gibbs and J Cole. Tough. Yeah, Matter of fact, I ain't been listening to shit else. Tried to tell y'all. Nah, whatever, man. I ain't been listening. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now you I ain't been me. listening to shit else. Okay. Ready, man. They've been going crazy, man. I, I got to give it up with them. What it was do? Real talk, you man. You give them that flowers. I don't, think, right? I don't think Rick agrees. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all been listening to? Tyler, mm. the creator. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dude. I do like that shit he did on the BET Awards. That that shit on his album? I don't watch the BET Awards. No. You know. Are you boycotting for Will Smith? Nah, <laughs> Zeke, we, we you gonna you gonna you gonna bring up the uh the art well, the dispute between J. Cole and Tyler. He brought oh, yeah, he brought this brought, up to me, not uh, me. They said they talked brought up on Joe Budden part. Is mm -hmm. is uh Tyler is everything J. Cole is, but slightly better. Mm. Meaning? Like, he, Tyler he produces on shit. He, okay. He, he's, bar for he, bar he, lyrically, he's good. He's he good. He still yes. kind of get that underrated yeah. tag. Tyler's just as good as J. Cole. In my Hell. Opinion. Oh, man. Um, you threw your own my opinion. When you throw that caveat, I, it kills me. <laughs> like, I, it kills my whole uh, heart. But... Uh, man, J so the, Tyler's not up there. Nowhere near. Nowhere. Near. Nowhere near. No, not to J Cole. <laughs> Tyler, I mean, it's level. Tyler's nice. Tyler's nice, but especially when, you know, like when I when I you know what I'm saying when he was messing with a uh, Earl sweatshirt and all them like uh -huh. I was you know what I'm saying like yo this nigga's cold. But never did I think he was on the on the tier of a, of a J Cole like. The agility, the lyrical agility, and, and, and he just, J. Cole's just better. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's, he, there's a reason, you know what I'm saying? He's where he is, you know what I'm saying? And, what's, and what's the reason? Because he's better. He makes better music. But Tyler got better beats than J. Cole. He does have better beats. Way he's better. A better. He's a better producer. He's a better than producer Cole. than J. Cole. Okay, uh, but I don't. They're rappers, oh. though. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, like, they're artists. Jay, Tyler won't say he's a rapper. He'll say he's an artist. No, I, his I last mean, album wasn't even really rap like that. Yeah, he uh, was singing about singing. <laughs> but put it this way, their content, their flow, their styles. Their, J. Cole is just better, bro. And I'm not Dude, a just, J. Cole just, fan. Just, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's light years better than fucking... No, Tyler. I think, in my opinion, I, I mean, think in the booth, I booth. think in the, I think Tyler can go in the same room as J Cole. Yeah, like, I think they, can, like we're, I'm not saying like who's better. I think Tyler can hang with J Cole. Mm, listen, I yeah. want no, but I want you to listen, and I'm not even saying like who's better or what not. I just want you to listen to Tyler. I Tyler can. With Tyler. Really, I fucked with Tyler, but like I say, I fucked with the old Tyler when he was on some real, real rap shit. Like he was on some straight when he was on the battle shit. Like you know what I'm saying? That's crazy how we progress. 
pause. Mm. How he just sneezed and we didn't freak out. But just one. Right, on the real. Like, <laughs> I look thought, how, look, how, society, thought it look how society has gotten. Like, now you can right, sneeze right. in peace. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, then, back then, you know, eight <laughs> months ago, you couldn't have done that. <laughs> look at Mike. Yeah, eight months ago. Yeah, right? What the fuck? You all right, man? Niggas came and sneeze. Hey, Mike, throw that Clorox. <laughs> Which is life. Niggas mm-hmm. sneeze or cough. Like, right. it happens. Mm-hmm. Sorry, but I didn't mean to interrupt you, but go ahead. No, I, just, I no, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Music is subjective. Y'all fuck with Tyler Creator on the level of J Cole. I don't like. I, but you didn't though. Hmm? You was on. You was on my side. Remember, you used to be like, "Yo, J Cole, boring." Even he was J. the Cole one was that was on some like J Cole code. But even when J Cole, was, I, this is just one album in to where I'm feeling like this. Don't by the way for J Cole. <laughs> but even when he was like doing the Friday Night Light shit and all that. And, I still recognize his skill level. Like, I, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't entertained by him because I, I recognized he was dope as shit. And even back then, I wouldn't put him on. Uh, I, I felt he was better than Tyler. Like, like I never listened to him. That's probably why I didn't listen to J. Cole like that because I listened to him different. He's more. He's a more of a major artist, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of expected more. Mm. Whoa, whoa, if he came out as an underground artist... Tyler's not a major artist? No, I'm saying... Not like Cole? Hell no. No, he ain't got the same platform Cole got. Probably now you do. Before, yeah, now, now, but Tyler was was up there over Cole, I would say. Before, like, he was... Dude, this dude has done... Com- he's done cartoons. Like, Tyler is, is main... Kind of mainstream, like... Uh, I would say people... I say more now than before. Agreed. But J. Cole had a get it out the mud type of star uh apex re uh stardom. Like he, he really had to start from the bottom. Jay dissed him a couple of times and then he finally like Tyler did the same, but he also had a backing of a crew, which also yeah. kind of Expedited his rise, and that's what I used to fuck with him with the the Frank Ocean and uh, when he used to mess with that crew. Like I, I didn't and, think you liked Frank Ocean and Tyler because of the, the, you know, the extra stuff. But that was gonna be my next question. Um, no, nah, you know what I'm saying. I, I really like that song. I just hate that I can't really play it like I can. You know what I'm saying? A tornado for a ride. <laughs> hey, he's talking about a dude. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> It changed things, like, you know what I'm saying? It made it sound different. It's, it's, I love the song, though. I, I came front. And I still listen to it, but I'm afraid of the stigma that people may look at. <laughs> I want to bump the song, but people may look at me uh, <laughs> a certain way. That might happen with Tyler. Yeah. A lot of people, but Tyler's so rugged in his rap, you know what I'm saying? I, I get, you can get away with Tyler, with, with Tyler unless he's actually saying some off-the-wall shit. He does. He, he does. does he kind of like hides it more now. Yeah, he hides it. He definitely off the brings wall. up oh, gay yeah. shit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that was going to be my question. Is he the, the best gay rapper? <laughs> <laughs> What's another one? Hmm. Who is now? Is he's he 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 openly gay? gay? What about Danny Brown? I don't know if Danny Brown <laughs> he's, not, he's not gay. Oh, I was just making fun of him. Um. You got beef with Danny Brown? No, I don't. I, I like him. You don't like him? Oh. He fell off too, didn't he? Yeah. I haven't listened to Danny Brown in a minute. Yeah, I wasn't he, a fan. I, yeah, he was I very never niche. Whole I wasn't a fan of Danny Brown. He was no. very niche, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. You got to really be in the mood to hear his voice. Yeah. 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 He, it was like a, 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 I'm biting off an ODB, but I'm not. Yeah, like, kind of. Yeah. The abstract weird yeah no and it, it seemed forced and I'm not right, saying yeah, that, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I'm not saying he's not that as an artist but it just seemed forced it felt like a shtick yeah like, you know what I'm saying yeah 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 like off the off the off camera he's not like that that's right what I'm no mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah like he'll change his voice and be a totally different person mm-hmm. I agree I guess Tyler is the only gay rapper He's not Jaden Smith. Right, he just don't know it. Yeah, Jaden <laughs> Smith. She said what? Jaden Smith. Oh, he's gay. Okay. <laughs> well, Tyler said that's his boyfriend. Oh yeah, J- <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Jaden. He, you're right. He came out as bi, didn't he? I don't know. No, Jaden came Is he out a as rapper. Bi. He got rap songs. He got rap songs. Yeah. He didn't drop no album. 
I mean, or did he? I don't know. He got a banger, man. Uh, what you well, call it? Well, well, there. <laughs> the little one. <laughs> you so. Oh, that's so, so easy to call someone a banger, dude. No, he got a song. He got a, a nice the song, song with his dad, it. with Will. <laughs> no, oh. that's probably the top five worst song of all time. I man. forgot the name of that. He got a bang. No, nah, he got a dope because uh, my, my little would be playing it, man. Like, I'm like, who is that? Every time she play, I'm like, who is that? She be like, Jaden Smith. I'm like, ah, sorry, I had. <laughs> but the song is cold, though. Like, T- Tyler's boyfriend. So we got did two gay rappers. He acknowledge it, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, man. I think he's he, come out his bar. He's Tyler said that's his boyfriend. I think Jaden agreed. Tyler is a supreme level troll. Yeah, though. yeah, agreed. He said, what you call was his boyfriend, too, right? Uh, the white dude. Jack Harlow? Yeah. Yeah, so his word is... His, he's just off the wall. Okay. Uh, but to answer your question, we did... That's two gay rappers. I guess my question is, Tyler up there with Guru. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even say it! I didn't okay. even say it! Hey, I, mean, I was nowhere near this one. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, he went up there. Damn, man. I give you keys on two of your favorite scenes. You buy mine. You buy, you buy my favorite. I'm going props on your both of you. Oh, 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 man. 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 I give him props on this. He's a guru. What a guru. Damn, Z. Guru wasn't gay, man. Uh, yeah, we can put that to bed. He wasn't gay. R.I.P. Guru. I guess Listen, I said nothing on that <laughs> one. I, I ain't saying nothing. Nah, it was a nice one. Hey, it was a good one. Whatever, <laughs> man. Still, man. That is Guru alone, man. Gift and Unlimited Rhymes Universal, man. <laughs> um, I guess this is a hell of a segue to Carl Nassib. Uh, <laughs> is it not? Carl, say it, pronounce the name again. Is it Carl Nassib? Am I, I don't know. Am I? That's the way it's spelled. Yeah. All right. Oh, that make him kind of sound foreign. Is he? I don't know shit about him until he came out. I, I ain't no shit. Yeah, nobody, nasty, knew, nobody no. knew who he was to this happened. I don't know. I mean, I've heard a dude, I mean, because out of the panel, I'm probably a dude that, like, really follows football. Not saying oh, you don't, right. Joe. Mm. But, I, you know, like, he's not a... He's not, you know... Tom Brady, you know, he's defense. Yeah, he's defense, oh. defensive player. But uh, he got the number one selling jersey. I after, why. Uh, yeah. after coming, after you know, mm-hmm. I my thing is, I don't care what you are. I don't think you need to make an announcement, by it, but that's just me. I agree. Like I it's really okay. Know. Like I mean, but I don't know how society is in that regard. What do you think about? Now, see, this is very. Uh... And by the way, all the gays, I hope you enjoyed your Pride Month. June was Pride Month, right? Yeah. Shout out to Pride Month. I hope y'all enjoyed it. But um, um, what do you think about gay gay people being in the locker room? Is that not the same as a woman being in the locker room? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging. I'm, I'm being it's honest. Not it's not the same, man. If a woman every, is turned every... on by a dick, <laughs> and a gay man is turned on by a dick. Every, women, women are turned on by every dick. Yeah. Oh, most but why can't they? Well, I get. Well, but still, but why? If that's the case, why aren't there co-ed locker rooms? <laughs> you separate because, right? You think they separate because they're turned on? <laughs> this is because they're turned on because. You not think turned you think- on because because of of the genitalia. Well, the difference in the genitalia is it's two different sexes, so you separate. The locker rooms. Because of what? Because, because it's two, of, different, two different genitalia. Like that, I think it's more of a comfort thing, right? Yeah, I think it's the Joe comfort thing. Right. Right. So you, I, recognize, might not I recognize what you have. I have the same thing. I'm comfortable. Yeah. Right. And there's no there's no sexual, there's nothing sexual there. You know what I'm saying? But now, a woman in the in the locker room, you put a woman, women in the same locker room, now something sexual, it gets weird. <laughs> Same thing with a gay man. <laughs> you put a gay man in this. In, you put a gay man in a, in a in a locker room with a bunch of straight men. No, it's no, weird. Man. No, it don't work. Like Not that. only that. 
Why well, not? Why not only that? For for the gay person's protection too, because you got straight dudes that are super homophobic and may, you know what I'm saying, try to beat the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying, like. <clears throat> so you're saying you if he comes <laughs> out, you don't think that a a, a gay man could be. In a locker room, he can't <laughs> control himself. I'm going crazy. Break the rings, like <laughs> no. I'm saying, what do you? Is, so that's that's not that's a nothing. That's another. No, nah, it's not. No, nah. nah, well, that's think, what I brought up. I didn't. Know. I think that um, I don't know. Like you know, what I'm saying I don't think it works like that. I don't know, but I'm just saying what like, works like that. I'm saying I don't think like I think that a gay man could be in a Locker room. Yeah, I think so. It's I think different it, from a than a woman being in a locker room. I think why? I think both could control themselves. Honestly, mm, you talking think, about pro locker room or the export locker room? <laughs> <laughs> a pro locker room. Oh, let's, okay. let's stop there. <laughs> let's, stop, let's stop with pro. An export locker room with a woman. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it'll be just rapes and all types man, of nonsense uh, left and right. Yeah, that, that'd be ridiculous. So, so <laughs> what? So, so gay people don't deserve the same respect as a woman? No, they do. That's what I'm saying. Is should it, should it be an issue? You know, what I'm saying, all right, if he doesn't come out, I right, there's no deal. So you think now that he's come out is going to be an issue in the locker room? Could there be like do you think could be a possible yeah. issue like you know what I'm saying was uh, Collins the Collins brothers were the, cause they were both gay right or just one <laughs> no, of them did they come out I think they came out after it was, was over right just one of them oh they were out of the NBA by then yeah one so. of them one was playing oh, only one is gay yeah only one oh okay, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what man I'm saying you don't think <laughs> so you would feel uncomfortable <laughs> not you about me no, your I'm comfort level is okay I'm cool with what okay 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 but do you think the gay person, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think he's going to feel the same way he's been feeling. Yeah, he's like, he's, gonna, he's already been gay. Yeah, he's, he's been he's been in there. Paul, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he's been there. So, like, yeah. it's nothing. He just came out. And that's, I mean, I guess that's good. I, I find that's good because if that was eating at your, your, your mental, then that's Yeah, good. I'm definitely like, yeah. But don't overall, worry. like... Motherfucker like me don't care. Like I don't care. Like, yeah, I, I, I don't care. But I don't yeah. care. Like like who you like. But I I don't think this whole thing was. You I think, don't think I don't think he just woke up like man. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell everybody I'm gay today. <laughs> you think I think this found was out? this was orchestrated. Yeah, it's kind Time. of orchestrated, man. Because he said he was gay. Then he said he was donating money to the. Uh, LGBT yeah. and his jersey is the number one seller. Mm-hmm. Jerseys went up. Dude, he, he was nowhere near. Happened. He was nowhere no. near a top even twenty five. No, no, I never heard he of said, that. He said, "I'm a private person. I don't do this for attention." It looked yeah. like you are. It looked like yeah. right. That'd be my, my only, only thing. issue. That's my only issue. making it a thing. Yeah, he right. started to really. I just want to let everybody know I'm gay. Okay, <laughs> we don't care. I don't know. Right. What percentage do you think do care? So. That's oh, quite a few. Oh, yeah. I'm sure so you think it's 50 50? It's. And so you think, think half worse. the locker room? You think half the locker room cares? Another one, other half? I wouldn't say half. Less? I, yeah, less than half. I'm sure it's some that. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think it's a high percentage. It'll, Maybe it'll not stay half. Stay away from me. But like 40. But they, I don't think they'll stay ever say shit. Right, yeah, just, they probably won't say it. Because they'll yeah. be demonized and, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Well, the gay's powerful as hell right yep. now. <laughs> yeah, keep it up here. Better not say nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But inside, I think, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. mm-hmm. Interesting. Which brings me to another segue. I have an announcement to make. I am. It's <laughs> 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 not what you're thinking. That's a horrible. <laughs> Yo. That's a Yo. horrible segue. It's going to take every fiber of my body to, to stop doing this, but I am putting a death to pause, man. Hmm? For me. For me. I'm not acknowledging pause. Wow. With my past birthday, I'm 44 years old, man. Like, if I say something, I said it, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I, <laughs> <laughs> if I say that, if I say that, yeah, that's a big motherfucker. I don't mean his <laughs> dick. You really think I mean his dick? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm through with pause. It's going to take mad shit for me to, like, not do that. Because it's just what we, it's almost ingrained. It's almost yeah. innate for us. You know what I'm saying? Damn, <laughs> you're Derek Coleman? 
<laughs> what you mean? Derek Coleman. What do you mean? As far as... Oh, 44. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, was he 44 with Philly too? Or just the Nets? Nets, he was 44. That, that was his prime days. Okay. But, <coughs> proceed with your yeah. announcement. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm the death to pause, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try anyway, man, because I know anytime we hear anything that sounds <laughs> <laughs> remotely queer, it's, 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 just, it's just innate for us to say pause, man. But I mean, y'all, I mean, I'm not telling you. I'm not, I'm not acknowledging it. It's going to be mad shit y'all say that I want to say, bye. <laughs> I'm going to fight it, man. <laughs> But I'm, I'm done with pause, man. But uh, thanks for that. Night. <laughs> You've been doing pause for a while. Have you have, have any of your older kids uh, subscribed to that? Also? <laughs> no, they have. I, do they, they, do don't they understand, understand it? Yeah, they understand. Oh. I'm every once in a while with my older ones. Yeah, I, I, every once in a while. I, I oh, say, okay. It was. But they it never went to them. Like they never started saying it. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. So that's, that's a generational thing. They don't that's, say that shit. Yeah, wow. Mm. So that's a 30 and above thing? <laughs> yeah, I think so, man. <clears throat> hmm. Have they ever asked you, like, what do you mean by pause? <laughs> <laughs> I can say it, but they just get it. Oh, you know okay. like, Oh, um, yeah, th- this is uh, melancholy, but prayers up to Biz Marquis. Um, he lives, he, he's alive. No, he is, but he in the hospital. Fucked up, yeah. Yeah, like. Yeah, definitely. Prayers up for Biz Marquis. Um. One in, I wouldn't say, he's not the founding father of hip-hop, but he One definitely... Of, he's not. Eh, he said, huh? He's not the... Oh, I said, oh, he's he's said one of. One, he, he's one, I'd give him one of. You'll give him one of? Anyway, point is, you know what I'm saying, prayers are going He's a out. beloved figure. He's a beloved yeah, figure, beloved yeah, figure. for sure. And false, we, false reports came out that he died. Yeah, yeah. Sports Life and Hip-Hop would like to acknowledge that, you know, he is not... Uh, he has not perished, and that he's still living. But our prayers go out to him and his family, and that he's beloved by millions across the world. And he definitely has made us smile and laugh with his uh, his uh, hip hop uh, antics. Antics, and he's definitely someone that we listen to. Yeah. Well, I, even in our youth, and so. man bought broke Big Daddy Kane, boy. You bought, yeah, yeah. He bought yeah. us Big Daddy Kane, boy. That man was a legend in the game. Then he 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 discovered someone else too. Right? Uh, Master Ace, just me and the Biz. Yeah, Master. Oh Ace. man, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah he did start with Biz. Yep. He, I mean, that's you know, he, his creativity. Like you know, what I'm saying his his all time is still classic. You got what I need. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always, I always bring up him and Dougie Fresh. Like, who's the better of the beatboxers? Mm. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, you know, just prayers up. And it's, yeah. it's sad, like, you know. Hip hop is getting old, man. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> what it's coming to. Yeah. Yeah. That K Slay, that joint you said, that, uh, that, K, that 110 Deep or whatever, 100 mm-hmm. Deep. I'm looking at MC Shan, like, Damn, this nigga damn man got a cane. Like, damn, but he's still spitting though. Did you did you watch it all? I didn't watch the whole thing. Dude, Melly Mel, dog. <laughs> dude, this nigga. All right, so you know he always been a cock diesel type nigga. Dude. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But he actually like it. What he didn't just flex. He didn't do one. Of, he did a professional like you know like weightlifters in the shows. That nigga did one of these. Like he did a, <laughs> like he did. He said while he was rapping, while he was spitting, he did one of these. <laughs> like, <laughs> yo, that's when you like. That's when you old and you don't give a fuck about being yeah. cool. Like yo, nigga, I'm cool. That's what I think. Like he just. Yeah, watch the Melly Mel verse, man. He put no. on a whole other type of performance. That, that's, that fits his uh, demeanor, though. That's the yeah. type of guy he is. <laughs> that's definitely him. Because he was on Vlad talking about he could beat Eminem and all this other yeah. shit. Think about he's, he's battling every single guy. thing, right? He, <laughs> it's about battling everything he does in life, man. Yeah. You want to rap? You want to rap? <laughs> so, <laughs> let's rap. What else we got? Um, uh, pudding, pudding pops is free. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did you see? Did y'all look at that that link I sent? The Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious, dog. Do you think that's? 
He freaked. That can't be real. Did you see I that? Think that that's when he was going in. I yeah. I, I when, mean, he, when he got out. So he was, did that little dip when he was yeah, going yeah, in. He ain't do that. He ain't do that coming. Yeah, we came out. It was like a helicopter over the oh, car. Okay. He hugged some people. It wasn't all that. When he came out, it was real low key. Yeah, we didn't even know about it till. I don't know whether to say welcome home or <laughs> is it was is it someone that's guilty of abusing a bunch of women that got out or is he that's someone what that's, that's what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Legally, yeah, that's what it he, is. He he did a and to make it kind of quick. He uh, he had an agreement with a lawyer back in what twenty. 15, I think. Mm. He basically he pled guilty to, to the shit in like a civil case. I and think. they botched it. Yeah. And they was, he's like, hey, if I say I did this. They botched it. They weren't supposed to use it in right. criminal case. You can't, you can't use it in criminal Yeah. Exactly. So he's like, all right, cool. So he's like, yeah, I did it. I, I gave the chicks uh, pills so, and all that, blah, blah, blah. And then later on, they're like, hey, that stuff you said you we can not charge it. you for, gotcha. we're going to charge you for it. Right. Yeah, I don't see how it took this long for them to find out yeah like why did it seem like yeah, yeah. i don't get that i guess that's a that goes to the how bad our justice system is <laughs> mm. nope yeah but he got so, out he got yeah, out he not out because he's uh yeah we, we well, I'm in, I'm, I'm, he ain't do the he ain't do the snoop dog i'm innocent <laughs> yeah i'm innocent <laughs> right you know he ain't do nah. that <laughs> like no nah, he got he, lucky he well, got lucky like he, yeah he got lucky it was a loophole yeah a loophole. A loophole. Was a loophole. he wasn't never supposed to go really yeah, he wasn't supposed to go, but he knowingly, he knowingly said, "Yo, like I did, I mm-hmm. did, you know, take it." So the civil case <laughs> was was civil one, case is money. He had to money. pay money, money, and also he had mm-hmm. to give up. He yeah, I think the civil money. case, uh, civil case is guilty. money, and then like you got to admit everything. I yeah, think. you got to admit everything, but then you pay a certain amount right. plus the money plus the, the but you don't do no time right. though. Like you you're like yo, you yeah, gotta like, pay. I did yo, you, you I did this to you. you. Well, that you know still doesn't mean he did it then. That means he if it's a civil case, that means he said, look, right, that's what whatever. I'll give you the money. I did, I did it right. And that's court, just to get this right in the court of law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why would you admit that you took it if you didn't? Because he just because he just wants to get this shit over with. Man, if I'm not, and that's the reason that I'm, if I'm Snoop Snoop Dogg and I'm innocent, I'm innocent. Then I, I would yeah, I say, yo, take me to court. I didn't do it. But that's the reason for the law that you can't use that admission in a criminal case. Right, right, that no, was no, no, case, right, no, no. I agree. With, I agree with all that. I'm saying that he was on like you can't use that, and the whether honestly, honestly, Joe, come on. <laughs> he, he said it on Larry King. He said it like, "Yo, I did, I did some, you oh, know, did I did it. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. like you can't say that." Like Larry King actually. Oh like, yeah, he I did. Put, I forgot yeah. about the size that. of a pinhead. You put it on there. Oh man, they go crazy. Yeah, yeah, I do remember <laughs> that shit. It was like when it was all going on. Yeah, he, he did it, but he had no problem admitting it. He admitted he did it. It's just you can't. Right. Yeah, 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 you can't. <laughs> Ooh, bad times. I mean, good times, but bad times. Right. All you need to do is lay low. Yeah, because they're going to come after him. Lay low. Well, well OJ, OJ ain't lay low, and he's still... He's an idiot. <laughs> he ain't been in jail since. Right. You see, you know, I know you know the line, shit. Right. right. <laughs> do we? That I wish he would. Do we? Do we know the line? He comment on everything. <laughs> right. Dude, OJ he probably comment. got a comment about Bill Cosby getting Yeah, out. I bet you he do. There's a certain gangsterism about OJ. About OJ, though. <laughs> Not gangsterism about Bill. Um, Bill I'm so openly we still said see I, about Bill because Bill, but Bill openly said I did what I did. What? Like, but I, I think he openly said it because the times were just different. You oh. know what I'm saying? Like, you could kind of you could get away with a little shit like that. Yeah. Nah, in the Me Too movement, like you wish you could. You know what I'm saying? You yes. better not even look at a woman wrong. Mm-hmm. How but, many? How many number? I'm sorry. How many hmm. number of women did you say that? One was I think like, like alleged? thirty or forty came. It was at least thirty on that special. Who was that? Barbara? What was that when they had all the women in there? That room and I they were interviewing. So, yeah. them? It was at least thirty women in there. Damn. <clears throat> Probably get some more to come out now. Out of out of those forty, how many you think telling the truth? Probably all. <laughs> right. Shit. Why do you? You know what I'm saying? Why do you? So uh, it's probably more. This is a criminal. More. This one about money. So what do you get out of coming out and saying he touched mm-hmm. you? Like so, it, you know what I'm saying? No, he did more than touch him, bro. Right, right, right. <laughs> Shit. 
But he out though. Pudding Pop is out. AKA Bill Cosby. <laughs> Jello Jellics and Pudding Peps. Yeah. He, <laughs> he, he having a, I hope he stay low, like you said. He having a good weekend. That's what I'm saying. Like, OJ, when he beat his shit, he was still. He ran up in the buddy. buddy yeah, he was brawling, like, yeah. Run me my shit. <laughs> 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 he was on some G shit. Right. Like, even though he just beat a murder case, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he admitted, he definitely admitted he killed her. Did he? Yeah. Like, he had an interview and said, hypothetically speaking, <laughs> if I was to kill my wife, this is what happened. And it was. He dropped a book, too, right? Like, yeah, if I this did is, it, he said, if I did it? If I did it, yeah, if I did it, yeah. Like, why would you even say that, hypothetically speaking? Yeah, that and it was uh, according to exactly how it went down. In the fucking in the in the case. Yeah. So he was saying what he would have done. Right. Yeah, but he did it. Like, but I didn't. Right. <laughs> but hypothetically speaking. Hell no. Man. Man. <laughs> Money, power, respect. What you need in life. <laughs> Fuck. Hell no. I'll be toast. But anyway, what's up on the sports front, man? I got an mm. apology to make. Uh, sports front. To me? No. Damn. <laughs> I want to apologize to. I've been giving this man slander for many episodes. I know who you're talking about. Murray State's own mm. campaigns. <laughs> the six man going to the NBA finals. Never would have thought I'd ever hear those two words, camp, those two phrases, campaign and NBA finals together, ever. I always say, man, anybody I can score on the NBA player, I could, de- I could definitely score on campaign. I probably can still, but <sighs> this dude was out the league, man. Does this debunk the the, the, the theory that a, a player is what he is after the first two or three years of, of his career? With or is he an it, exception to the rule? He, he's an exception, exception, I think. Exception. The Bulls, like, yo, he ain't an NBA player. I don't know if that's... I How guess that looks worse on the Bulls staff, nah, right? Nah, because, yeah, it, it does look bull, bad on the Bulls staff. But part of it is is the system, like... Yeah, sometimes yeah, the true. system works. Sometimes mm-hmm. you have veterans that... That motivate you, uh-huh. the locker room, the 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 aura, the you know what I'm saying. All that plays into effect, and then <clears throat> maturation. You know what I'm saying. So, the Bulls at the time when they had him, you know, it was fucking. He wasn't that good. He, he wasn't, wasn't good as he is now. No. When we saw him in summer league, he was good. Like he, he had, better, he had better. better league. He yeah. had hit bottom. Yeah. Shit. Uh-huh. Like sometimes you need that motivation. Like yo, like I'm about to be out the league. I got to get on it. Yeah. And that's what happens. Which brings me to, um, well, what you think about Ben Simmons? Like, like <clears throat> his style of game, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, you know what I'm saying? He still had a, a great amount of personal success with his style of game. Yeah, he did. So he's been able to, like, <clears throat> say, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Working on my jump shot. I'm still a defensive player of the year mm-hmm. candidate, rookie of the year, this, that, you know what I'm saying? I'm an all star. You know all star. Now he's kind of been humbled. Yeah. Could this possibly be what it took to make? I don't think he's ever going to be a fucking jab, jab, nah. <clears throat> pull up on you, you know what I'm saying, type player. I don't but think so either. Could he work on this shit to where he's respectable at least? At least put it as not allergic to offense, you know what I'm saying, to, to anything outside of a, a, a whole court off, a full fast break offense, like. I think, could that, could, I think more... that could happen, but as far as like, I, I think he could come come to a point where he's not afraid to shoot. But I don't think he'll ever be a a good shooter, a respectable shooter. Right. He got to get over the I'm afraid to shoot shit. That's what I'm, he's allergic at this point. He's so. I allergic. think I think he can get over that. Could he it's be been a... a while? I don't. I don't know. Could, could his free throws get to... so long? Could he get to the seventies? Percentage-wise, from the free throw. Let me answer your first question. Do it. No. <laughs> like, next year, next year, he's not going to change. Like, next year, you're not going to see Ben become a three-point shooter. I mean, eventually. Or a mid-range. Eventually, I mean, like, I next would, year is, like, a bit much to add. Like, you know, I would like, think so. If at. he want another yeah, good paycheck. Yeah, I don't paycheck. know if he's going to do that over a summer. If he want another good paycheck, yeah, I would say, yeah, but no, I don't think so. I, I think like, he is who he is. 
I saw he turned down the Australian team to uh, yeah, say my that, work. That he that's, that's crazy, too. Now nah, I'm going to work on my game. What you been doing all year? All right. other years? It's summertime. You mean. He just been playing. Instead of getting with a coach and shooting, shooting. It's shooting. not even shooting. I think it's mental. I don't think he has anything to go with going. I don't think he has anything to do with going in the gym. I think it's all mental. I think at this point, like, it's about getting over that, that the yips. But it starts in the gym, though. Like, you mean how to get over the yips? Yeah, like. It starts in the gym. That's where you build But he's been in the gym his whole life. Like, it's not like he hasn't. But he's, I don't think that Ben's. Listen, I don't think that Ben Simmons is a motherfucker that, like, just blows off the offseason. I think he no, does work on his game. It's obvious as a parent. I don't think so. But you think he blows you, off the offseason? Nah. Nah. Look I, at him. Nah, he's too good. I think, I think he works on his game. It's just he got the yips. He yeah. he has something. Well, there is there is, is what, video of him playing over the summer. He, yeah, he, he like pull up and shoot jump. Yeah, and that shit looked terrible. I seen that. Yeah, he was hitting it, but that yeah, yeah. every shot was different. Yeah. Every shot. It's what you're doing in the gym. Like if you're just going running, you're gonna get better. You playing with yeah, high talent. Yeah, he's probably going there running fools. Yeah. That's it. Playing with high caliber talent, you're gonna mm-hmm. get better. You you know he's playing with high high caliber talent. Yeah, I'm saying he's gonna oh, get okay. better. Like, but what are you do? What he needs to work on. He, he know you can go end to end. We know you got right. the IQ. You yeah. know you got the court vision. He ain't going there only working on jumpers, I don't think. Bro, you shooting 50%, 40% from the free throw line. What the fuck are you work, working on your dribbling for? What are you that's, working on dribble drills for? That, but free throws is mental. More than jump shot, that's definitely mental. Yeah, but, that's a mental thing. That's a mental passing thing. up that dunk, that's, that's man, I don't want to go to the line. Yes, yeah, but before, but, but the way it becomes not mental is by working on the shot. You know, working on your mechanics. Yes, it's mental because he knows he can't shoot. If he knew he could shoot, it wouldn't be a mental thing. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah. Like, I still think he. I'm going with the Jalen Rose. He's shooting with the wrong hand theory. He been saying Does he do that he, every t- every time he around the rim? He finished with his right. Most of his shots is with his right. It's just when he shooting a jumper, he shoot with his left. And I think he said that. Uh, somebody told him to start shooting with his left. Like he was normally a righty. And somebody told him, hey, you should shoot with your left. And he's just been doing that ever since. It don't even look right when he shoot. His form is off. Yeah. <laughs> That's an understatement. Yeah. Like, yeez. Philly gave him 107, what's it, 150 million? Fuck. I think the owner came out, owner or GM, and said they, they're they not going to trade him. But Daryl Morey. Yeah, I think Daryl Morey said that, like, hey, we're not going to trade him. Who would want him? Still, oh, yeah, somebody would want him. He killed his own vow. Only thing missing is his is, is is fucking not a jump shot, his comfort with shooting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? And the more you shoot, the better you're gonna get. And for him, the better doesn't mean fucking you know what I'm saying John, you don't think you yeah. don't think you know he shoot you don't think he shoots a, a thousand jumpers? No. Oh you don't? Mm-hmm. He can't. He can't. He can't. He nah. he physically with that type of performance. He cannot work on his jump shot. Shoot Dude, a thousand. Be nobody jumpers. around him. Okay, man, okay. Hold, hold, hold on. We all agree Avery Johnson was known not to. No, we all agree Ray John Rondo doesn't have a jumper. Right? It's kind of yeah. It improved. If yeah. he but open, he goes for the shoot most them. of his career. Yes, for the majority yeah. of his career. Yes, no. So you don't think by himself working on it, you don't think Ray John Rondo shoots jumpers in the summer? I think Ray John Rondo. Does. I think it's the later um, part of this year, the last four, probably one of the but the Bulls. To now, yeah, but then his Boston he, days. His mindset is more of a dis- distributor and creator, though. It's always been that way. But Ever if he open, he gonna shoot. Agree. Ben Simmons open. It gotta be two on the shot clock for him to shoot. Right. He's a, literally allergic. He's scared. Like, it's it's so, so many pictures the, yeah. of him standing at the top of the key, nobody around him, and he won't shoot. That's the yips. But the reason that's the way mental. you get over that. Uh, what's the dude? The other I agree, dude named the with, the, with, the, with the yips, uh, Markel Fultz. Yeah, wasn't he shooting when he was open at least? Even though it looked funny, I mean, they said that was mechanical. It was something yeah, it was but mechanical he was arm. he was still shooting though. Yeah, he yeah, he at least he right. still was shooting. <laughs> he just wasn't hitting. Yeah, it didn't you would right. rather have that problem than yeah. what Ben got. Like you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Nick Anderson had the yips. <laughs> that got never got over. <laughs> that was. Oh, did that, he? Go no, no, go ahead. Nick Anderson was a shooter. 
And he became trash at the free throw line. Oh yeah, free this throw line. This means nothing, yeah. but I know you know probably. Did, did just out of did Nick go anywhere after Orlando? Dallas. Uh, shit. Okay, I was just no, a yes. random question. Yeah, he did. Sacramento. He played for Memphis. Did he? I don't know. Oh yeah, I do Memphis. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was it wasn't. Good. It wasn't. Cup of tea. Yeah, Orlando, Sacramento, two seasons. Then Memphis. Point being, you you're not with. You have no. Uh, MVP Nick Anderson point. averaged twenty points one year. Nineteen point nine. That's twenty. Oh, that's not. <laughs> He, he averaged nineteen point nine two <laughs> seasons in a row. <laughs> he never averaged twenty. Hey man, nineteen point nine two in a row. Come on. Nineteen point nine is nineteen point nine. Doesn't mean it's twenty. Yeah, he averaged nineteen point nine twice, then fifteen point eight twice. Can't give him. Can't <laughs> give him twenty. Po- uh, to answer your question, there, um, Channel Seven. Um, <laughs> yes, like. Yeah, maybe Nick wasn't a shooter. I thought he was a good three-point shooter. He's he, above 40. He was 41 in one year. Boy, you got to think of the era. Like, anything above 35 was pretty good. I they didn't shoot a lot of threes Anderson back was in the a day. Shooter, they didn't shoot a lot of threes back in the day. I'm sure Dennis Scott was higher. Yeah, probably. Dennis Scott, yeah, Dennis Scott was over 40 multiple years, but I thought Nick was up there with him. Hmm. Well, Ben Simmons got the yips and do they have to trade him? I but you ain't gonna get shit for him. Right. Yeah, they, they should have gave him up gave him up for Harden when they had the chance. Fucking James Harden. <laughs> I, I think them was serious discussions. Yep. And it's like, nah, we can't trade Ben. Are uh, they gonna trade Dame Lillard though? Chauncey over there. I thought he, he I thought they bought Chauncey they, uh, not off of his words. They solely, bought, but, they botched it though. They they were talking about the uh sexual great. encounter case, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which nobody knew about. That nobody knew about. I they brought up because he was a, what? I listened to man. some podcasts and it was dudes that worked for Boston, like they wrote for Boston. Like, man, I never even knew this happened. Well, they, <laughs> brought it out, they brought it out when he wanted to be a man. coach. Man. Oh, another thing about that too. When you were, uh, like when he was an assistant and all that before, mm-hmm. they wasn't open to a, a media question so they couldn't ask him about mm. that. Now he's a head coach, they uh, could bring that up. Mm. He's trying to be a head coach. Mm-hmm. Now they could bring him in front of the media. Yo, what happened with with this? Well, he just Dang, assistant. Dang should nah. just leave. He's wasting his years anyway. I hope he come to the Bulls, but he's not. But for who? I don't know, man. Make it happen. You'll give up Zach for him? Hell yeah. Wow. What? You wouldn't get... Dude, he's still crazy. Dame Lou, a, a top twelve NBA talent. You wouldn't give up. What is Zach? He ain't twelve. No. Is he? Yeah, twenty five. Twenty five. Top twenty. Top twenty. Twenty five. And this is a recent break in. Break yeah, into this, his recent <laughs> Dame Lillard is. Hey, with Dame Lillard <laughs> hot, he probably a top five right, guy. Right. But yeah. he's, been, he's been mistreated. Come on, though. man. Damn, I'm taking Dame Lillard over Zach Levine. Is this even an argument? Like, <laughs> are you serious, dude? You still need somebody. That's what I'm saying. You still need somebody else with him, though. Dude, Zach will never reach what Dame has reached. They both all stars. Dame is multiple all NBA. Let me ask you this: yeah, Do you? Sure. Do you I will say I, I think uh, uh, Zach got that the same heart that um, Dame does. Like if he was in, he's not in the situations that Dame is where he can yeah. prove himself because he's been on, he's on a bad bad team for the majority of his uh, time with the Bulls. We, we ain't seeing Zach in the. Game I don't see seven. Zach as a as a as someone who who, who lacks the, the the heart, yeah, you know what I'm the fortitude to, to come through in them situations. If he was in the position, like I agree, yeah, but it's still. <laughs> still great. But Dame is a top he's ten tiers, talent. Different tiers, like he's right. a top ten talent, so he's able to but bring. He can't, if you just switch them, I don't think the, the Bulls gonna magically go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, Vujic. Oh, I forgot. Dame, Vujic, man, cool man you're right. Yo, Dame and Vujic. That's nasty. Dame is. Although th- Dame and uh, Nurich and yeah, that wasn't who. Uh, nah, it's not good. he's not good. He's, He's nowhere near on Right, but I'm Vujicic. saying he has had a couple bigs. Vujicic. Vujicic. It's not on that level. Vujicic is a 20 and 10 guy. So. Yeah, consistent. But Zach is about to get paid. You know who else is about to get paid? Campaign. No. <laughs> College 
athlete. Oh, yeah. College yeah. athlete. Yeah. Hell yeah. Salute to them. Salute to them. It's about time. So, so they can... They can... They can... Uh, they can have shirts. They can have, Name, you know, what I'm shoes. I'm, ooh, I wonder. So Nike can fuck with college cats now. You know what Zion would have got? You know what would would fucking John Morant? He would have got millions. <laughs> Not John Morant, Zion. Definitely. You don't think John? Ja? Oh, yeah, yeah, John would have got that some. Zion would have got some. Right, right, right. And I can actually acknowledge Weber planning. Well, no, I never heard of him. Oh wait, they they, they they reiter they they reinstated they. They because talk, of the rules, they saying it now. They talking about this shit happening. I saw they Reggie yeah, Bush. Yeah, they talking about Reggie Bush too. Wait, what? Where did Reggie Bush play? At? Where did he play? <laughs> oh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> well, they talk what, about they might be USC? reinstating him. Yeah. He was at USC. Nah. <laughs> he won the Heisman, didn't he? He did. <laughs> <laughs> they took it from him. He had it. They took it from him. They did. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he went from high school to fucking New Orleans. You can do that in football? <laughs> I mean, you can take a year off, two years <laughs> off, and go straight to the NFL. Yeah, you can. Oh, man, you can yeah, you can take two years off, and if you're good enough, you can go to the NFL. <laughs> hey, buddy from Ohio State that tried to go straight from the, from high school, he ended up, but he went up, ended up going to Ohio State, got in a bunch of trouble. Super oh, talented right, running right. back. Oh, uh, uh, Claret. Yeah, Maurice. yeah. Maurice Claret. Yeah. He is getting involved with some murder stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah he got some real Could he shit. have been better than uh, Reggie Bush? Bush. Um, no. Claret was a dog, man. Nah, not like, dude. Reggie Bro, Bush was on real, too. I mean, I saw him in high school. The high school footage, he was pretty, uh, pretty good. Yeah. I didn't see him. What? Y'all keep saying he played at some school. Nah, uh, yo, once again, Sports Life and Hip Hop, dope show, man. It won't be this long between next shows again, man. Um, unfortunately, I was underwater. <clears throat> it was a proverbial Noah's Ark. <sighs> but we're back. Um, dope show as always. As usual, you got the usual crew. You got my man Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Shway. Is that a Jamal Crawford jersey? No, the future Hall of Famer D Rose. No, he's not going to the Hall of Fame. And I'm Channel Seven. <laughs> Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take him off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? It's like we come through. Better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be a rich. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.